cannot tell it's not me. Wow. It's me again, Shiri from Foodie Meets Food, and today we're in Bristol. Bristol is the number one most vegan friendly city in the UK, and today I'm gonna be vegan for the day. Come with me, let's see. In the month of January, many people decide to participate in Veganuary, meaning that they obtain a vegan lifestyle during January. Today I'm in Bristol, which is the most vegan friendly city in the UK, with 197 vegan friendly eateries. 18 organic health food shops and 14 supplement stores. I dedicated my day to being vegan, which included trying a vegan juice shop. I visited a vegan junk shop, tried a vegan pizza from my favorite pizza restaurant, and I also discovered a vegan donut kebab. Stick around to the very end if that interests you. We're at St. Nicholas Market which is in Bristol. It's a big market that has different vendors, food vendors, juice, clothes. There's an in indoor and an outdoor one. But we've come to this big juice place to try some of their shots, which is ginger shots, turmeric shots, different kinds of shots, and they're good for your immune system. And there's also this drink that's nut-based, which is vegan. Yes? Come, let's see. Um, so we do have yogurt smoothies and ice cream smoothies that are not vegan. Um, and also the blueberry basil, this one does have some yogurt in it. But yeah, pretty much everything else is completely vegan. Which is the most popular shot? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. ginger, turmeric and beetroot are probably the most popular shots. Are they better tasting than that? Uh, well, ginger ginger is really, really spicy. So I think a lot of people like like the challenge. Yeah. Uh, but it's also, it's got some great properties. It's really good for kind of clearing out. So it's great for colds. Uh, so this time of year is really good. And do you have like an offer for... Yeah, so we do three for £2.50 or five for four pounds. Uh, three please. Okay, yeah, sure thing. So I've got my three shorts. Uh, that's turmeric just by the look of it. That's turmeric, ginger, chili and lime. I think that's exact... no. I was about to say that's exactly how I'm going to have them, but I'll have the turmeric and then chili and lime and then ginger to clear out everything. The chili and lime have just confirmed it's to clear out your system just like ginger, it's to clear out your system, just refresh you, you'll be a new one. <laughs> right, let's start with the turmeric. Okay. I don't know why I made a face. <laughs> I think just the fact that I know I'm drinking turmeric, but yeah, that doesn't have like a taste. It's you can taste the turmeric in it. You can actually really taste its turmeric, but it's like water just with the turmeric taste. That's it. And then we we'll also try the chili and lime. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. You feel it in the in your throat. Ah, yeah, you feel it in your throat. The chili burns you a little bit, but it's a nice burn. And then you also feel the acidity, the tanginess from the sourness from uh, the lime, which is really, really good. If you like things that are a bit sour and uh, spicy, that's the one. Let me try the ginger and then I'll tell you which one I love the most. Oh, the ginger, you can also taste the the ginger but it's it's like water until you taste the taste of ginger so it doesn't have some sourness nothing like that it's just purely ginger and then you feel the bun in your throat the ginger bun in your throat actually it burns even more than the chili and lime my favorite is chili and lime i love sour things though chili and lime wins for me after the shorts i decided to explore bristol a little bit more so i walked outside the city center and discovered this lovely vegan junk shop that sells all things vegan and also operates as a cafe. I have actually tried this. I don't know which one, one of the two. I used to have a, a friend who's vegan. Um, I've tried one of the two and this actually kind of has the cheesy taste in it. You know, when you top it up with new pasta or anything like that, cheesy taste so good. What do you fancy? Yes, yes. I think I'll get the cookies. Okay. The one, one cookie sandwich. Cookie sandwich? Yeah. So how long have you been here? The shop. Uh, 2015. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's a long time. 
We've ordered two things. One of them is a chocolate chip cookie sandwich. It's got vanilla frosting in the middle. And then a jam donut. This was three pounds and then this is 120. Let us see. What do we think? Oh, that's nice. That's a good surprise. I didn't expect it to have chocolate in the middle. And it's glittery. First impression is um i like that i mean the presentation is really good it's glittery it's got frosting outside and then when you open it in the middle it's got frosting in the middle so that was a good surprise mm. that is genuinely good I always thought what makes a cookie chewy, you know the nice chewiness you find from a cookie? I always thought what makes it chewy is the butter, but I'm wrong. I'm definitely wrong because this cookie is nice and chewy. Mm. It doesn't taste like it's vegan. I don't know what vegan cookies taste like, but it doesn't taste vegan. It tastes normal to me. I love that. I'll also try a jam donut. Woohoo! Don't we just love donuts that are filled with jam? You know, some places it, they're a bit selfish and they don't put a lot of jam. This one has got so much jam. Mm. That is a good donut. Is a vegan? Are you sure? That is a really, really good donut. It's got the, you know, the nice airy softness of donut. You just chew it, and it's like all you have to do is take two bites, and it's gone because it's nice and airy, and just oh, that is that is so good. Should I go vegan? Should I? Because what am I missing? This is good. My next stop of the day is Pizza Rover, which is my favorite pizza restaurant. And this time I'm only going to try their vegan pizzas because I love tempeh and I want to see what the other vegan pizzas are all about. Okay, we've gotten the tempeh one, tempeh with the roasted peppers, vegan cheese, vegan tomato sauce, everything is vegan in this. First glance, I can tell the cheese is not mozzarella simply because, come closer, Simply because if you can see, I can even touch it. It's hot, it's piping hot, but I can touch it and it's not sticking on my hand. So it's not as stretchy. It is stretchy, I love that. It is stretchy. Just not as. We're gonna go for the biggest piece. Vegan cheese, tomato sauce, tempeh. I love tempeh. And roasted pepper. Mmm. Did you hear that crunch? Mm. That's got a very, very good flavor. If I'm tasting it with my eyes closed, it would take me a minute to realize that it's vegan. But then again, I can tell from a few things that it's got a bit of a bitterness from the cheese. Vegan cheese has bitterness. No matter what, I haven't found a vegan cheese that doesn't have just a bit like it's, it's like bitterness from a distance, so it's not like oh well, that's not nice. No, it is really good. The stretch is not like as stretchy as a normal cheese pizza, and the tempeh has a lovely flavor, love, love, lovely flavor. Tomato sauce, I'm assuming it's a normal tomato sauce. That is good pizza, and the pizza dough has been cooked so well and it's thin in the middle and then on the edges the crusts are thicker love that mm. so my next pizza has arrived which is nduja jalapeno salsa verde and crispy onions oh it's piping hot i love nduja when i go to eat out pizza i normally get the nduja 
there's something about Nduja sausage that I really, really love. So let me try this vegan one. Actually, let me just try the Nduja on its own. Okay. The texture is different. The taste is kind of similar. Hmm. It's kind of similar to Nduja, normal Nduja taste. But the texture actually makes you know that it's not normal duja but still really good i'll try that <laughs> really good flavor it's got some smokiness i think from the duja and then a chili kick from the salsa verde and the crispiness from the onion so it has a crispiness in it the pizza itself has been cooked really well i mean pizza pizza pizzas are good they cook them really really well the difference between them two this one is a bit tangier i think because of the salsa verde and also the tomato sauce might be different i'm not don't quote me on that the nduja itself has a lovely 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 flavor oh that was lovely pizza from pizza Rova. Vegan? Was it vegan? I don't think so. Oh yeah, it was vegan, but it really, really tasted good. Well, where to next? Come, let's see. And I couldn't leave Bristol without trying one of the most popular vegan places, which is Kucha Meze, a vegan meze bar. The service is really good. People are very friendly as well, and the ambience, love it. I've ordered a donut kebab, which is basically, of course, not meat. So it's got trimmings of uh, barbari bread, whatever that is. And then they add chili sauce and tzatziki sauce. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of tzatziki sauce, but I'm yet to know today. So it's a vegan kebab, as I said. And when you first glance, you'll think it's got meat, because look at this different cut. Look at that. Look at that. It's like different cuts as you go. And then it's got tzatziki, it's got some pickled um, chili and chili, chili itself. So are we excited about this? Yes, yes we are. Hmm. I'll just try this kebab meat that fell from the inside. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, no way. I love the texture of the bread, it's very crispy outside and it looks chewy inside. Mm. Mm. So much flavor in that kebab. So much sauce, so much flavor. I can tell it's not... No, I can't. I'm lying. I cannot tell it's not meat meat. There's only one thing lacking for me, salt. I love salt too much. So I would add salt, a bit of salt, but I cannot tell it's not me. Wow, the texture is so good. Oh my God, they, they got it just right. Mm. The crunch in the lettuce, the tomato, and then the kebab meat. Look at how it looks. It doesn't look like meat meat, but honestly, when you eat it, it feels like you're eating meat. From the flavor, which has got, like it's got a really, really good flavor. It doesn't taste like meat, but it's got really good flavor. And then the texture, it's a meaty texture. That one, they've aced it 100, got it right. Love that. Ooh. Oh, being vegan in a day feels good. I realized I can be vegan. It's just that I choose not to, but whenever I want to be vegan, I can be vegan because everything that I've tasted today has been amazing. I tell you what, there's nothing that I have faulted like too much for me to say I'm not gonna be vegan, which is a lovely start. Bristol has been lovely once again. Um, and that's it for today. Let's go back to Birmingham, our lovely, lovely home.